meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. What is going on for Libra right now? What are the issues? For, so, like, stuck. Some of you feel stuck. Uh, dietary change. So, some of you need to change your diet, change what you're eating, change how you're eating, change when you're eating. Maybe you're eating late. Um... Maybe you're eating because you are dealing with some other issues, some issues that uh, they could stem from something else. Maybe you just aren't dealing with the issues that you need to deal with. Therefore, you, you might eat, overeat. Let's see what else. Self-employment. Maybe you are self-employed or you want to be. This is where you want to be. You don't know how to get there or you're having uh, some frustration in your self-employment. Uh, you're just not seeing the... Maybe the progression that you want to see with self-employment. So it just seems as if also some of you need to change something that you're doing within your own business. Okay. With self-employment and dietary change, it's like you need to, maybe you need to bring in something new. Okay. Or you need to do something new. Something is kind of outdated, outworn, or you might even need to get under some type of mentorship where someone can help you with your goals. Let's see. In order to maybe manifest more clientele, you might need to change your diet, what you're intaking. Um, yes, yeah, self-care can't make it up. So maybe you might need to take some time for yourself. You could be overworked, overburdened. Uh, you could work for yourself. And it just seems as if you're doing a lot. You're doing too much at this point. Uh, you need to take a day or days for yourself. Um, get two cards to say self so it's like everything is on you uh, the weight of the world is on you your shoulders you have to pay for it you have to do you have people are looking towards you or for you um, you might be eating late sobriety I knew it was coming out some of you it's not only what you're eating or what you're putting in your body but it's also maybe drinking smoking drugging hanging out um, maybe your thought process isn't clear at this time. It's like you feel like you feel foggy or you're in need or you are addicted to a certain substance. You just feel like you can't live without it or you can't make good decision without it or you can't be without it. Whatever this is, um, you need to maybe even go to some meetings. It could even be that, you know, drastic to where you need to maybe go to rehab or at least go to some outpatient uh, service some meetings you might even be trying to help someone else with their sobriety or you're trying to stay sober you may have just come out of rehab also uh, you're stronger than you know you can get through this something is triggering you to the point where you want to go back to because most times the drug use isn't the problem it was something else that you were running from so it's like you need to deal with that yes yeah, sentimental feelings i can't make it up uh, something is triggering triggering you to want to go pick up 
uh, a bottle, uh, pick up some weed and or whatever it is, something's triggering or the pills. It's something triggering you. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to really be in that energy. Therefore, you drink it away. Yeah. Realization epiphany. When you come to a realization epiphany about what it is really triggering you, maybe you can you can really conquer this uh, demon, this addictive demon. Also, when you start to realize something, um, it, when you get in your feelings, it just pushes you to drink. You need to get some rest. You're not sleeping. You, well, you sleep, but you you don't rest well. Um, your mind is still going. Your emotions are still flowing. And you, yeah, something about toxic. You want to leave some toxic relationship, toxic situation. You want to retire or you're thinking about retirement, maybe from work or you want to retire some toxic relationship. You want to let something go or you want to go into part-time work. You want to body changes. You know that your body is changing. You get into a place where you just don't feel good. You don't feel like getting up. You don't feel like being involved. You don't feel like whatever it is, your body is talking to you. Uh, maybe you need to retire something that you're doing some toxic behavior. Also substances, unhealthy substance abuse. It's affecting your body now and your functions, your eyes, your mo mobility, motor skills. Some of you need to like seek help, therapy, uh, counseling, uh, yeah, let's see what what is going on here for Libra. It could be you, it could be someone around you. Somebody is just like in the community or in your community. Um, you're able to mask whatever it is you're doing because people love you. People love uh, what you bring to the table. Therefore, they overlook your shortcomings. Yep, adjudication. Um, they're willing to hear you out or overlook it, or they don't judge you. Yeah, message here. You've been getting a good news message maybe about some court matter, okay? Uh, with sudden wealth, maybe money coming to you. Uh, wow, a gift. This could even be inheritance. There could be, you know, a judge presiding over uh, someone's estate and you get an inheritance. Yeah, you get um, maybe an, an award you get publicly honored for. There was somebody here who was talking bad about you that people didn't want to hear your side or you just didn't tell your side of the story, the lovers. Um, so you could be getting maybe a proposed to an engagement ring. Um, you could be someone's trying to keep that from you or you're trying to keep it from someone else yet from the privileged lady that you're dating. Um, you don't want them to know that you're going to get a ring in the distant horizons. It's like you've seen the, um, some of you are in engaged in toxic behavior. It's like you're beating your body up. You're beating yourself up. You know you need to come out of that. You need to retire. You're doing so so much work. You don't sleep at night or you do shift work or you want to go into self-employment, but you're not taking enough action. It's like you want to be with somebody here who is um, maybe uh, they're by themselves right now. I don't know if you want to come back to them. Again, you're just not taking care of yourself. Bad health coming out. This could be you. could be somebody else, Libra. You've gotten wise advice, or you're going to get wise advice. We've got the, um, maybe about your finances that you need to get on a budget. The wealthy man wanted to come out in reverse. Maybe you spent a lot of money on another woman. You might be getting a message of concern uh, that somebody's going to jail, or you're stuck somewhere, or you're stuck in a relationship where you're losing everything, or you're losing it, or you're losing your mind. There's despair. It's hard work to keep this up. You could be feeling like you have an impoverished mindset within a house or a home or a relationship. You're expecting for better or better days or for something to mature or unexpected money to come into you. You're hoping that it comes to you, that you get some official work. Yep, work. And that this tough time comes to an end. Let's see what else is going on here, Libra. Yeah, it looks like you, you're you ready to do the work. You want to be rewarded. This is also you maybe needing to do some work on yourself. Um, somebody could be just... I knew this was coming up. You need to get some passive income, okay? Uh, the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being, prosperity. 
It could be dwindling or somebody feels like they deserve so much more. They're dealing with somebody who's addicted to likes, followers, subscribers, shares, addicted to social media, and they're out of touch with reality. Um, somebody who doesn't take care of responsibilities and it kind of falls back on you, Libra. Um, you need to get some self-awareness. Some of you chose to give love to the wrong person or you're dealing with someone who did that. When this person is in your life, your money decreases. You need to take note and you're, we're seeing that. Some of you are reaping the harvest from the seeds you've sown, good or bad. Let's get you some advice cards and then get out of here. Let's see. What's the advice for Libra? Advice for Libra. Three cards of advice for Libra. The Nine of Swords, not sleeping at night, shift work, inability to cope, the tower. You need to let something just fall. The Seven of Pentacles, you holding on to something. The Ace of Cups, maybe a house or a relationship or your emotions and you need to let go. The Seven of Pentacles, you need to learn, you need to mature, you need healthy living. Um, you could be sulking, pining over a person that left your life. Or um, this is what someone is doing in regards to you, Libra. The star card could be an Aquarius. You could want this person back. They, you feel like they have you under judgment, contempt. They won't forgive you. Four of Pentacles, they're holding you in a place um, of unforgiveness. Or they look at you as toxic or stagnant. Could be your child, a younger child. Could be somebody who's got a lot of growth with them. The Knight of Pentacles, someone who is working hard. They're going to see the reap the rewards of their hard work four of swords someone who has put themselves in separation from you two of swords where they don't you don't even know where they live or how they moved high priestess you don't know what moves they're about to make the queen of pentacles with the high priestess this is a ruthless individual who will do whatever they need to do to get what they want this is a karmic situation for some of you uh it looks like for my masculine men you're stuck in this you don't know how to get out of it you know you need to make a decision but you're burying your head in the sand indecisiveness a lot of these cards speak to you, Libra. The Four of Swords, being lazy, being despondent, being, you know, just um, sleeping, you know, lounging, not making a decision. Knight of Pentacles, staying stuck, knowing that you need healthy living, better karma, healthy living, Page of Pentacles here. You need to be consistent in your healthy regimen. You need to let go of some deep-seated issues from the past what maybe a feminine energy or you feel like you want them to let this go somebody's got you under some harsh judgment or you have someone under that could be Scorpio this is somebody where the relationship ended somebody flourished they re revolted revolution they moved away from could be an Aquarius star card somebody got on their own path somebody that you look up to or you were only looking up to for sex or something of that nature I don't know this is what I have for you Libra, if it resonates, let me know what part resonates for you. Um, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking, uh, donate to the channel by, uh, yeah, clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. It's in the description box. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are a business-minded individual um, and you want to be around other business-minded individuals, go ahead and um, sign up for the KTMG Keep the Momentum Going a monthly conference call where we talk about all things spiritual and practical in regards to either starting your business, maintaining, or growing your business, okay? Uh, we also, you also can sign up with a complimentary discovery call with me to see if I can even help you on your business journey. Uh, all links are below. Thank you again. Take care. Many blessings to you.